a name. It's called Missy Glub Glub. And the name of this story, you'll find out, will come about as I tell the story. It seems like not too long ago, a little girl by the name of Kim Happy Weather and her mommy and daddy lived at the edge of town. And they lived on a little lake. And it was a beautiful little lake. It had trees around it. They had a nice backyard. And they had a little dock out back that went into the lake. And Missy was about six years old. And she was going to school. And she was a bright little girl, very smart. And she minded her mother and her father all the time because she knew what they told her were, was good for her and it was for her protection and her safety whenever they asked her to do certain things. And one thing that Missy liked to do real well is to go down to the lake and look into the water and see the fish and the turtles and the frogs and all kinds of different things in the water. And she loved to do that. She loved to be outside. She liked nature. She liked birds. She liked everything. And it was just a real great place for, for uh, little Kim to, to grow up. Now, Kim Happy Weather, as I said, went to school. And every day after school, she would come home and she'd say, Mommy, may I go down to the, the lake and see the fish? And Mommy would say, Yes, but you know what the rules are. And Kim would say, Yes, I do know what the rules are. And that is, I'm supposed to wear a life jacket, and I'm not supposed to get into the water, and I should always be where you can see me. And Mother said, that's right. So Kim would put on her little life jacket, and she would go down, and she'd lay uh, on her tummy on the dock and look into the water. And it seems like day after day, the same fish would come by. It was a little bluegill, a pretty little bluegill. And it would come by and kind of look up at Missy, or at Kim, and Kim would look down at the fish. And pretty soon, Kim got the idea, let's feed the fish. And so she went up to the house and she said, Mom, what can I feed the fish? And there's one fish down there I like real well. And Mom said, well, why don't we give him some bread, bread crumbs? And so Mom got out some bread crumbs from the... Uh, bread box and gave them to Missy a couple pieces of bread and Missy went down and she would sprinkle them on the water and the fish would come up and it would eat it and it would go glub 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 and Missy got or Kim got such a kick out of this she said this fish is named glub glub and uh, I think I'll just call it glub glub from now on it's the same little bluegill that comes back every day and so every day after school when Kim got her lessons finished and she did cleaned up her room and did what mother wanted her to do, she would go down to the dock by the lake with her life jacket and she would lay down and talk to this uh, Mr. or Mrs. Glub Glub. She didn't know what it was, whether it was a boy or a girl, but she called it Glub Glub because every time it ate the breadcrumbs it would go Glub Glub, Glub 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 and it would come up to the top of the water and go glub glub just like it was talking to, to Kim but Kim knew that fish cannot talk but she always pretended like maybe it was talking to her and pretty soon as Kim would go down day after day she noticed that the fish when it was scared or worried about something would go in circles and she realized that if a big turtle was coming up or if uh, a great big fish was coming up to get this little bluegill, they would go in circles and then run away. So Kim pretty soon realized that going in circles for Glub Glub meant there was danger nearby. And then later on, as Kim kept watching the fish day after day, the fish would go back and forth real slowly, and that was saying the same as saying to Kim the water is real nice and everything is safe why don't you come in and play with me and now and then with mother's permission she would wade in up to her knees and the fish would come right up to her and she'd put her hand down the water and the fish would go right into her hand 
and was never afraid of Kim. And Kim was not afraid of Glub Glub because Glub Glub was a nice little fish. And so Kim got to know Glub Glub real well. And she wondered, is it a little boy or is it a little girl? And one day when she was down with the fish, she noticed that the fish went over to a special area, a little cove, a little area where no, no, one, no big fish or turtle would go. And she went over there and followed Gleb Gleb over to this area and noticed that there was a little uh, place in the bottom of the lake where the gravel has been moved away and where the sand has been brushed aside with the tail of the fish that it seemed like there were eggs in this place and so therefore Kim knew that this was not Master Glub Glub but it was Missy Glub Glub it was a girl it was a mommy fish and so from then on she would call her Missy Glub Glub and that's where the name came from so days after days Kim and Missy Glub Glub became very good friends and one day Kim noticed that when the weather was good, Glub Glub, Missy Glub Glub would go up and down in the water just a little bit. But if the weather was going to be bad, it would go real deep and it would come up and it would go real deep and it would come up. And it was just like telling Kim that the weather's going to be bad. And so a couple of times when the fish, uh, Missy Glub Glub, would go up and down, Kim noticed if it went real deep that night it would rain and uh, it would be uh, kind of uh, windy and it would rain a lot and maybe there was a storm and so uh, Kim said to her mother one night she said you know the fish is telling me things it would tell me if there's danger because it would go in circles it would tell me if it wanted to play it would go back and forth real nicely it even told me where it laid its lay eggs, and I saw its nest. And Mommy said, yes, Kim, I, I, I hear you. And Mommy wasn't too sure that Kim was really uh, not exaggerating, but was kind of making this up. But Kim knew that she really saw what she saw, and that was Missy Glub Glub doing all these things. And she said, Mommy, another thing, if it's going to be bad weather, the fish will go up and down in the lake. It will go down deep and it'll come up to the surface and it'll go down deep and it'll come up to the top. And I know if it's going to be bad weather or good weather. And Mommy said, sure, sure, I, I hear you. And, uh, and Kim said, well, the next time it's going to be bad weather, I'll come up and tell you. So one day, the fish went down, Missy Glub Glub went down deep and came up and went down deep and came up. And it looked like it was a worried fish. And Kim said, thank you, Missy Glub Glub. And she came up and she said, Mommy, it's, it's going to rain tonight or some of we're going to have some bad weather. Not real bad, but it's going to be kind of bad and a little bit bad. And uh, Mommy said, no, the newscaster said that it was going to be a nice night. And sure enough, that night, guess what? It rained, just as Kim told her mother. And her mother the next day said, you know what? It rained last night, and it thundered, and there was a little lightning. It wasn't bad, and the weatherman was really surprised. And Kim said, see, I told you, Missy Glub Glub told me that it would happen. And so Mommy said, well, maybe it was just an accident. Maybe, maybe you just thought that Missy Glub Glub was telling you these things. And Mom would smile and go on working in the kitchen or whatever she was doing, you know. But she wasn't too sure whether she wanted to really believe Kim or not. But Kim Berryweather, or Happy Weather, was a very, very sure person. She knew that Missy Glub Glub was her friend. And weeks and weeks later, as the weather was getting fairly bad and it was getting colder outside, Kim would put on a coat and then she'd put on her life preserver and she'd go down and she would sit on the dock or lay on her tummy and look in the water and this time it was different. Missy Glub Glub would go into circles and she'd go real hard in the circles and around and around and around and that meant danger. And then she'd go real deep and she'd come up and she'd go real deep and she'd come up. and. 
and Kim knew that this was very serious, that Missy Glub Glub was telling her something. And she said, I wonder if we're going to have some really, really bad weather. And so she came up to the house, Kim came up to the house that night, and just before dinner, she said, Mommy, she said, Missy Glub Glub told me that it's going to be a very bad weather tonight and that we should be very, very careful and that we should protect ourselves so that we won't get hurt. And Mommy said, oh, don't worry. The weather forecaster will tell us if it's going to be really serious. And so um, Kim said, well, I, I really mean it. I'm really worried. And so uh, uh, Missy, uh, uh, so... Uh, Kim's mother would say, well, we'll see. And so they eat dinner, and the clouds got a little darker outside. And Mommy said, it does look kind of dark outside. And Kim said, I'm really worried. She said, can I take my baby doll and go to the basement? Would you go with me, Mommy? And Mommy said, oh, that's silly to go to the basement. And there's nothing to worry about. And Kim said, oh, yes, I think there will be. And remember, we found out that Missy Glub Glub knows what she's uh, talking about when she tells us there's going to be bad weather. So mom said, well, okay, if that makes you happy, I will go down to the basement with you. So after dinner, they went down to the basement, and they were playing games, and it got darker and darker and darker outside, and the clouds started coming in, and all of a sudden they heard lightning. <laughs> Kim said, look, Mom, it's getting really bad outside. Mom said, you're right. And all of a sudden, things were happening upstairs. There were, there were things were falling down, and the house was shaking all over, and they heard the glass break and all kinds of things. And Kim said, oh, boy, am I glad we're down here where it's safe in the basement. And Mommy said, you're right. And I hope that Daddy, before he comes home from work, will be careful when he comes home. And she said, yes. And the house was shaking all over, and the lightning was really striking then. And the thunder was really bad. And I'll tell you, they were kind of worried. And it kept going and kept happening and kept happening. And pretty soon, it started raining real hard. And it rained, and the wind blew. <laughs> And Kim said, I'm a little bit scared. And Mommy said, you know what? So am I. I think it is pretty bad weather out there, and I'm glad we are in the basement. And pretty soon the rain stopped, and the clouds went away, and the sky cleared up, and the dock on upstairs, they heard something, and it was Daddy. And Daddy said, are you all right? Are you all right? And they said, yes, we're down here in the basement. He said, oh, I'm so glad that you went down there. He said... We heard at work that there was going to be, all of a sudden, there's going to be bad weather, and they didn't have time to tell people on the television or the radio it's going to be bad weather. How did you know to go to the basement? And Mommy kind of smiled and said, Kim was the one that saved us. She and her friend, Missy Glub Glub, that told her that it was going to be bad weather, and we went down to the basement before the weather got real bad. And... And Missy Glub Glub and Glim Kim really helped us and saved us. And Dad said, well, you know, there's not a whole lot of damage up here, but if you were up here, you could have been maybe cut by glass or maybe a window could have fallen on you and you could have been hurt. And he said, I'm so glad that you went to the basement. So from then on, Daddy and Mommy and Kim would go down and they would see Missy Glub Glub in the water. And they would say, hi, Missy Club, Club, thank you very much for taking care of us and helping us out. From now on, we will believe that fish are very smart, and so are a lot of animals that are smart, that knows when weather is going to change or not, or when things are going to happen. So from now on, we should not only appreciate nature, but we should believe in nature, because nature is part of God's world. So that's the end of the story, and Kim and Missy Club Club lived happily ever after.